How's it going everyone, it's Dark Absolutely here. Today we bring you a Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.2 beta video. Today we'll be showing you how to use the banners, how to create awesome patterns on the banners. As you can see, I have several designs and uh, some are basic, but you can create very awesome and advanced designs. As you can see over here, we got five awesome designs that I want to be showing you how to create them. But first, I want to show you the basics. Now, right here, we have these patterns that you can create using one ledger and uh, the maximum banners can hold are six ledgers um, for example this one right here this uh, pokeball has around five ledgers if I break it uh, you'll see what I mean I will open my inventory and show you that it, it has five ledgers uh, of creation <laughs> let me just place it back there you go and that's just how you clone it <laughs> now to create a banner, you require six wool of a certain color. It has to be it has to be the same color. It can be red, blue, white, whatever color you guys want. You craft it by using one stick and six wool. So I'm gonna do it real quick. Grab everything, and then show you the crafting. So you grab everything, place it just like that, and then at the set, at the bottom you have the stick. And then you have your banner, your white banner. It is ready to go. Now, once you have your banner, then you need these materials to create your custom designs. Uh, you can use a brick block, a wither skeleton skull, creeper head, uh, an, an oxide daisy. Let me just put that here. You can also use an enchanted apple. You could use dice like a bone meal or ink sack. You can also use the binds. And you can overlap them and combine them to create awesome textures. So, for example, you go into the crafting table and place your banner at one side. Uh, depending on what type of design you're wanting to create, you can either place it at the bottom or at the center. It just it doesn't really matter until you need to you need that space to create a design. For example, at the center, if you place C and die. You can see that you create this uh, dot at the center of the banner but if you remove it and place it to the side you see that it changes and you can keep doing it the same way all the way around to create a border just like that and you can also use the bind to create a custom design just like this so as you can see I have my custom design using the binds look at that and then you can just uh, add another layer to it to add more um, detail to it so let me just uh, try to add a wither school at the center have this and then add the die and then you have it there perfect look at that we have a CN wither school banner ready to go now you can also create custom letters like the X or the one that I have here the D and uh, you can just play around with the banners and see what you can come up with so let's see if we can create the A by using this uh, design. So we're going to start by creating the sides just like this. Take it out, bring it back in, place the ink sack at the side again, and then place it at the center and use it just like that. We got the A or part of the A, and then we bring it to the bottom just like that. And we got the A. But no, it is not done. What you need to do to make it even better is have the bone meal and add the, and add the border just like that. And voila, we have the letter A ready to go. To create the gradient effect, what you need to do is have the banner placed at either at the top or at the bottom and then add the die to the side just like this in a kind of triangle effect going on just like that and then you have your design like this and then if you guys want to create like a triangle effect all you need to do is place it at the top and then bring it just like that there we go and you have this triangle effect that I used over here to create this kind of sunset effect so I'm gonna show you how to create this effect and it is it takes quite some time but it is fun nonetheless let me just place back everything. Okay, so to create the sunset that I did there, what you need is out of these items that you can see in the inventory, you're gonna start with placing the banner at the bottom and then create the gradient first 
uh, we need to create a gradient effect because we want to simulate the sunset so the gradient has to be the first thing you create and um, just to give you a preview that's how it looks and then you place it back in you bring it in and then create the color or this the flower at the center using the oxide that you see and you bring it back and as you can see there it is now the dot at the center requires dandelion yellow and just have it like that and there we go and there we go we have the sun ready to go but we need to create the mountain and to create the mountain we place this at the top and use the cocoa beans to add it this in this way this triangle effect and just uh, place it once again there we have it and last but not least we need to create the grass so we bring it here and I think it's uh, like this there you go so you create the inverted side or the inverted triangle pull it out and it is complete it is complete you now have the sunset ready to go and it looks beautiful and you can no longer use anything else I think that's about it yeah it's the maximum you cannot create any border or anything because that is it it only takes up to six layers of design or die and there you have and there you go now as you can see right here we have a brick wall and to create it it is very simple all you need is to use the brick block place it to the side and then place any banner you guys want and then bring the lapis lazuli or any die you wish to have this uh, brick banner to be made and there you go just craft it and you have the white banner or the blue uh, brick banner ready to go and that's how you create this brick effect and you can also do, do it to create awesome designs such as this one over here which is the TARDIS this uses the design with the bricks to create the TARDIS and all you need is a blue banner the brick and some dice in order to be crafted so I want to bring in this the blue banner that I have here and begin creating the TARDIS so you guys are gonna learn today how to do this so we begin by creating a white banner just like that which is the inverted version of this brick now the next step is to bring in your blue banner place it at the top and then fill in the bottom two layers with blue dye just like that you will have this effect of the banner and then bring it back inside place it to the side and then create a T using the ink stack just like this this will bring this effect of a cross going in your banner and then to remove it or make it fade you use the lapis lazuli once again and just place it like that and there you go you have this fade effect of outline and then bring it back in place it at the center and use the ink sack to create an outline just like that and to create the same effect we did here just repeat it place it once again at the bottom or I mean at the center and then use the lapis lazuli and there you go it is complete we have a TARDIS we have the TARDIS ready to go now all you need to do is have it on some place like that and you have a TARDIS ready to go perfect now I'm gonna show you one more design and this one is my favorite and you're gonna be impressed because this is something that is very possible to create on survival Minecraft so as you know I had these items at the top so I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about now to create this design you need to start by placing the gray banner at the bottom having the bind and then use the ink sack to create this kind of effect take it take everything out and then follow the next step placing it at the center and using the gray die at the side take it out and then uh, just to bring everything out because <laughs> I hate to do this on creative I mean on pocket edition but you put this here you bring in the purple die you also bring the oxide daisy you create a flower take everything out place this one now at the bottom use the ink sack at the center to create this line effect and then bring it all the way over here wait no over here and 
create this effect. This uh, mountain effect or triangle effect, use it and then last but not least, use the enchanted apple and use the black die and there you go. And guess what this is? It is a dragon. <laughs> Yes, it is a dragon and you can see the purple flame that is about to shoot and it looks awesome. Now this effect over here, this thing, it's not supposed to happen. Uh, I think it's a bug or something, but there you have it. That is a dragon and I was impressed, I was mind blown when I saw that this was possible on Minecraft survival without sheets or anything. Um, it looks awesome and I love it. So this is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a glance of what you can actually do with the banners. Uh, you can also add them to the shields, but currently Minecraft Pocket Edition does not have shields. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with a link so you guys can go ahead and check more designs of banners in case you guys are interested in more designs. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.